Okay, so we continue what we did last time with talking to Estelle. Yay. I don't think this part had anything interesting in it, to tell you the truth. Our next move is to dance! Oh, 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 why did that? Okay, now, okay, stop. Why wouldn't we be into this guild stuff? Yay, happy children, or child, who was unhappy before, yay, okay. Heck yeah, we will let you in, actually, if you go to the Colosseum battles here, it's only solo battles, and they they included uh, Estelle into the guild somehow. They magically in included her in it when you do a Colosseum battle. So yeah, you are part of the guild, practically. Especially with the name you can give us later on. That ties you in. So we started a guild. Motley crew, nice. Member number two. Well technically he's num member number three. He's a mascot, like he's the mascot of the knights. Repeat's actually the only one you have to talk to, to tell you the truth. You just have to talk to him twice. One to do that, and then one to rest. This time it's actually talking. Work! You must work for your pay. We're gonna dance, like I said before. Remember? She wants to look for Pharaoh, the monster that tried to eat her. Well, not eat her, but still. Called her insipid poison. With hope and Jack's compass, that's the only way. Don't ask me. Even I've never seen anything like that before. Well, then we're screwed. That was no monster. His name is Pharaoh. Wait, how do you do know you his know name, Judy? I saw him well, then again, she is the dragon rider. And it was my friend who knew his name. And her friend is, is like friend one of those monsters, apparently. Because like he's a monster. But there's a more proper name, but since everybody's ignorant at this point right now, we just call them monsters. That's the continent to the southwest of Tobikia. The continent of Desier. The desert. Well, I would never guess that kind of name Desier is part desert. But at least thank you for telling us our direction on our map. Because our map is crap right now. Fairy tale could be Fairy tale? Okay, that's not even right. Okay, that's gonna be fun. Like the one about the monster in the sea who talks to people. Sea monsters, it's Nessie. Backwards? Such creatures Backwards. But they have simply become the stuff of legend. So some some tales are true. I still don't understand this this uh talk, but okay. Huh? Well, I. If we don't keep up this little bodyguard operation, she'll really march off on her own. She would. Let's take this as our first guild assignment. Yay! First assignment. We'd be breaking our own laws if we let her go alone. That's right. Man, they would they wouldn't allow themselves to let her alone. Especially Yuri. He would never let her alone. Remember, she's human. And pure, unlike him or Rita. I'm afraid I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. Funds. I'll pay the fee, I promise. So let's all go together. So we're just gonna do it later on, okay? This way we can all continue the journey. Yay! Super ultra courageous brace! Oh, my ears are burning. What is Carol, that? you suck at naming and you'll see more of his names that he That's sucks at doing. We can't go with that. Some people find enjoyment out of it, I find pain. And I'm no case. I'm no masochist, so oh, really? shut it to Carol. Oh. Unfortunately for us, Estelle is smart. Area. 
And that name actually has significance not only to the game title, Tales of Vesperia, but also to something later on. And I think I actually spoiled it earlier, slightly. Uh, when we hit the... when we hit to Noropolita later on, because that's our only way to dizzy air continents, we'll learn why. It's important. Slightly. I'd also like to see how they've been doing since the Blastia went out of control. Yay, so let's go to... I don't, I don't even know where that thing is. I keep forgetting the name of that place. Okay. So first the Heliord, then from Torm, I don't know, it's the city with the Blastia messed up. Okay, I'll try again. Brave and I'm not paying attention to what they're saying, so that's another reason why. Kayla Earn, Brave Vesperia leader. Spoiler! He's the leader of the guild. I have my awesome hats. Give everybody their correct title. Might as well. Even though it doesn't do crap. Great Lancer. Sinful Psychic. Yuri, I was a little surprised to hear that you're starting a guild. Oh, so Yay, guilds! Did Carol give you the idea? Yeah, but I've yeah, been thinking about myself for a while now, too. I quit the Knights to find my own way of doing things. But I hadn't done anything. What yeah, he hasn't. Throwing Knights into the river is not doing much. Nothing that guy says could get to me. He like and he got to him, didn't he? No. Nope, not at all. This way. This way, if you fought any of the monsters out here, you should be ready for this next part, to tell you the truth. And we're back here. The city I can never remember. What rumor? When did we hear, hear this rumor? Seriously. They just automatically know of this rumor. Eh. Estelle wants to help the common people, like usual, but you can't save everybody. That's a sad, and that's a sad fact about life. You just can't save everybody. Yeah, he is. Oh well. Nope, because you did for your sake as well. So let's head to the hotel. Okay. I had to stop my recording there for a sec, but okay, we're back. Because I always have to stop my recording at like 8 minutes. Around. So take a rest. And... why don't they sleep underneath the sheets? They, huh. And here you should like sleep the other way where the pillow is. I don't know why. No. Video game logic. It's just video game logic. I guess I can't let things go either. Oh, there's a pillow on that side. Okay, that makes sense now. Who? So we go outside and who's the only person not asleep? It's Judy! Yay, Judy! Late night stroll? Pretty much. The scenery here reminds me of home. Aww. Your home must be in a pretty place then. I just must be a pretty high place too. This and has a good view. Not that I have a problem with heights. <laughs> I guess you would riding around on that monster. His name is Barul, and he's not a monster. He's not a monster? Then what is he? he can fly. We've been together ever since he saved me during the war. Aw, so he's not a real monster you then. The Empire and the guilds? I don't so think that's what she meant because... Be I don't even remember when those wars. Yeah, I guess so. It was you who attacked Estelle here earlier, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 I just remembered that. Not really, I already knew that. 
I'm just that kind of guy. I even know her reasonings, but she won't tell us that until later on. Pharaoh also appeared because of Estelle. Is there some connection between them, between him and your partner? So he's not. So if there is a connection, then they wouldn't really be monsters. Then, if Judith says they're not monsters, hmm. You're not good at lying, but you have a good poker face. No, seriously, she's really good at poker. If you play, if you play well. What can I say that will make you believe me? Well, you said you were no good at telling lies. It's not like we're okay. different. I've got a few skeletons in my closet. Everybody too. has a few skeletons in their closets. Even Rita. He's a Even though she man. says she has no fears. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next part.